So I've been meaning to make a video for a while now. Uh, if you follow my Instagram, you know that for the past month and a half, I've been living in the back of a minivan and working full time in the city. Uh, but today I got the final piece of the puzzle in the mail. So it's uh, time to make a video and give you guys a quick tour. So for the first two weeks, I just slept on the floor and I had a couple Rubbermaid bins to keep my stuff in. Uh, I decided the first thing that I needed was a bed that would double as a storage container. And uh, I also wanted to keep access to the rear door. I used two inch thick foam to make a box cushion and it just Velcros on top of the bed. Uh, the foot panel slides out and latches onto the back of the seat so it's nice and sturdy. And then uh, I take the second box cushion and it has a Velcro strip on there. So it just connects up. I think two inch foam is about the bare minimum that you want to go on a bed. It's comfortable enough, but uh, three inches probably would have felt better. I just needed to make sure that I had enough clearance for when I opened the trunk lid against the wall here. And I'm just using my enlightened equipment down quilt. It's rated to negative 16 degrees Celsius. So the trunk lid just opens up like this. And I put a little arm on it to prop it up. So living in the city, I have to have some privacy. Uh, I, work, I work the night shift. That actually makes life a whole lot easier. I work from 10 o'clock at night till 6 o'clock in the morning. Then during the day, I have free range of the city, Walmart, grocery stores, Home Depot, uh, the mall. So I just sleep there, and uh, but I needed some privacy. So I blacked out the side windows. Basically, that's just a black foam board, and I cut it out to match the shape of the windows. Then I wrapped it with fabric. From the outside, it just looks like black limo tint. You can't tell. And I made curtains for the back window and just behind the seats here. At nighttime, if I have all these closed and uh, I have some lights on inside, you can't tell from the outside. I debated going with a full-size propane cook stove, but uh, I really don't want to deal with dishes in here. And uh, the only thing I really want to make was coffee. And this is one of the most efficient ways of boiling water that I know of. I'll do two cups of water in a little over a minute. And I do have a carbon monoxide detector. I tested it by closing all the windows and boiling a pot and I only got a small reading on it. But I'll talk about ventilation later. So last time I lived in the city, I rented a room in a basement for 500 bucks a month. And I was sharing it with two other guys who never cleaned up after themselves and were noisy all night long. And I was working six days a week, 10 hour shifts, and my commute one way to work was an hour and a half whether I rode my bicycle or took the bus. So I had no free time or anything. And uh, what it boiled down to was all I really needed was a place to sleep and uh, to have a shower. Um, so yeah, it was part of the motivating factor for living in a minivan this time around. I also looked at one bedroom apartments, but that's just ridiculous. I mean, I'd, I'd be paying a thousand bucks a month bare minimum and uh, that would come with bed bugs and cockroaches too at that price. Um, but yeah, the one thing I don't have here is a shower. And uh, gyms are actually surprisingly expensive. I mean, it's $200 to enroll and then about 70 bucks a month to keep your membership valid. So I looked around and uh, I actually got a membership at the recreation center for 100, 110 bucks for the year. And it has showers there that uh, I can access seven days a week. So yeah, that worked out good. So I just have this little folder bike that I use for booting around the city. Um, unfortunately, there's just not enough room to fit the fat bike in here. I might get one of those roof rack storage bins eventually and stuff it in there. But yeah, the plan right now is just to keep working and saving up money. I mean, but living in a minivan, it uh, opens up to new doors I've been thinking about. I've always wanted to live out west, and I've heard the rent prices out there are 10 times worse than what they are here. 
but living in a minivan makes it possible. But uh, I also would like to do another bicycle tour. I have one planned out in Argentina and Bolivia. But uh, for now, I'll just keep working. So this is the final piece of the puzzle I was talking about earlier. The Olympian Wave 3 catalytic heater. And I have it connected to an 11 pound propane tank down there. I live in an eastern Canadian city, so negative 20 degrees Celsius temperatures are not uncommon in the winter. So I'm depending on this thing to keep me warm and cozy. I debated getting a Mr. Buddy portable heater, but uh, from what I hear, they just provide too much heat for this little space. And I have a little USB fan that helps blow fresh air in here. I keep the front windows cracked with uh, some rain guards over them. It would be nice to have a roof vent, but that is a fairly hefty modification, and I'm not sure if I'm committed to that yet but the back windows do crack open but uh, if it starts raining the water comes in so I have to close them up oh yeah and the general rule of thumb with uh, propane inside a vehicle is don't do it <laughs> don't do what I do